Hi, I'm Mia Griffin. And I'm Sam McKinney. And we're going to be headed over to the John Eager Howard Recreation Center. We're going to be working with Clay. We're going to get our hands dirty on, on today's, today's At The, the School, School Adventure. Adventure. Today, we're going to do a pineapple pot by using the clay you have in your hand. You're going to pinch off a little piece to make a round ball. And when we make a round ball, we're going to do the bottom, just like you would make a nice little tennis ball. This is easier than I thought. Wow, this is softer than I thought it would be. Yes, we're going to set it down on the paper. Now, while I'm creating a bottom to make the pineapple pot, I'm banging it on the paper right on the table. While I'm banging it down, it sticks to the paper so it turns. Turn in your hand that you get a symmetrical bottom. And what's next? Now this technique that we're doing is called a thumb technique. So you're gonna use the thumb first in the center. We're gonna just press, indent a little bit. And then you pull back, straighten your finger out, put it up, up, up against the clay. The pint of your thumb in the center and we press and turn. Press and turn. This is like making oatmeal cookies. Our next step, we're gonna get another piece of the clay that you have in your hand. Mm -hmm. We're gonna roll a snake, which is your coil. What are we measuring with? As big as your first finger. Is this okay? Yes, that's fine. Put it in your hand just like this. Mm -hmm. And then you pinch every time you do that. Now, if your snake is the same size right through, you're supposed to have the same size ball round and around. Like that? Yes. Then we're gonna make a round ball from that. We press it out, turn it into a cookie. I like cookies. And then we're gonna start to apply it to the bottom. The, the first row that you put on is supposed to be the thickest row. Okay. So, we overlap as you go along. It will make a great earring too. This takes a lot of patience, doesn't it? Yes. You can make this as quick as you can and it can take you for a really long time. So now we're gonna make the, um, the leaves, which we pinch up a little piece of clay. And we're gonna turn it into a carrot. So we press them from the tail up, and I press. Can I try one? Yes. So, and. Yes, so then after we finish, we started to add them. Now notice, you put them on. You do not have to bend them over. They will bend by themselves. All right, so now we finished our pineapple. We just, it reached this stage. We let it dry for three or four days. It takes that long to dry? Yes. And after it dry, we're gonna give it to the first firing. And it goes up to 1,837 degree Fahrenheit. Woo, that's hot. That's about four times the heat of my kitchen oven. Then when it best fired and first fired, this is where it look. It comes out, it's a terracotta color. And we will paint any color you like. Now here you are with the finished one. Thank you guys for coming in today and to make a pineapple pot. I hope you have fun. I hope you learn a lot about making a pineapple pot from clay and you see all the work that goes into it. Thanks Sam, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. You're welcome. Working with clay is so much fun. Yeah, because in the end, you have something to use, like this vase. We're going to be going all over Baltimore to different after-school programs. So why not join the fun? And go on an after-school adventure in, in your, your neighborhood. neighborhood.